Hey guys, it's Matt here, welcome back. First off, if you haven't already, definitely click subscribe down below, but today I am doing my top 10 Android apps of April for 2018, so let's go on into it. Okay, so the first app up is called Notification Animation. This one pops up this little bubble in the bottom right hand corner, it has your icon in it and it sort of shakes or explodes or vibrates or has like loads of different animations to it. This is really cool when you get notifications only three of them are free, but they look really nice, as you can see in the bottom right-hand corner. So it sort of bounces up, gives a little twist, and then shoots back down. That happens whenever you get a notification. You can control how fast it does it, and the background, and stuff like that. It's also made by the same people who make the Navbar Animations app. Up next is Replica. This one is really, really interesting. This one is kind of like a chatbot, and you talk to it, and it learns about you. So it will learn, like, your parents' names, your favorite colors, what you like to talk about, your favorite TV shows, pretty much, like, everything there is to know. You have different levels. You can send photos to it as well, and basically it learns about you, and you can have a little conversation. And honestly, it's just quite interesting for me. I just really like using it. Doesn't really do much else, but it's just quite interesting to see how AI has progressed. It's free, link is down below. Okay, so up next is Google Reply. This one is really, really awesome. Really, really one you wanna download. They don't have it in the Play Store right now, so you will need to download an APK, but the link will be down below. So basically this automatically replies to your messages and you can choose how it wants to reply or what it will reply to. So it will reply if someone says it's urgent or waiting for you. If someone says, hey, you can turn that on as well. So it will reply what's up. Personally, it's a little bit creepy to be honest. So I turn that off normally, uh, but there's quite a few that are really useful, especially the location ones. If someone says like, where are you? It will tell them where you are. So it works for Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp, as well as Twitter direct message, and you can put in your home address, your work address, and this is basically how it looks. So you can reply like normal, you get one option on the pop-up, but when you swipe on down, you get three options, and it will be in context to what they've asked you. This is a pretty cool app. Honestly, download it, play around with it, you can configure it a bunch of different ways, uh, but go check it out. Okay, up next is Vero. This one is a brand new social media app. It's got a little bit of a twist to it. Feels a little bit like Facebook and Instagram sort of mixed together, uh, but it's got a really nice user interface. It's listed as a new social media app. So, you know, not that many people have it, but quite a lot of people do so far. So this is a post that I made and you can like it. You get your chat section with like private messages, kind of similar to like Facebook and Instagram, pretty much every other social media app. You get your notification section, your collections, which will store everything you post and categorize it, which is actually pretty interesting. Uh, cool idea. You have your dashboard, which is just like your profile. You can configure your settings, your, your profile photo, stuff like that. And then on this tab here, you can either search or you can go ahead and look at trending stuff, popular hashtags. You can look at like current news stories and stuff like that. And you can click on them and like read through them all. It's actually pretty cool. It feels like a combination between like Flipboard, Instagram, sort of maybe like Facebook, sort of just everything. You can share your photos, links, music, movies, books, uh, quite a lot of stuff, but go check it out. Up next is an app called Neon. So this one is like a photo editor. Uh, it doesn't like edit like Photoshop. It's more of like adding effects onto it, like light effects and stuff like that. So you can add like circles and blurs and different colors as well as text. I think it's pretty cool. It's quite simple, but um, sometimes they look over the top, but you can customize the photos quite a bit. So for example, I've got like a circle right now. You can change how thick it is, your blur, your color. You can put some sunglasses on it. You can put like a square frame as well. I think it's pretty interesting. You can also create a gradient effect, which is probably one of my favorites. And that will have like this light beam, sort of a purple mood light at the bottom of the photo, which I really like. You can configure all the settings, the saturation, stuff like that. You can also add your text and save it. I think it's really cool. Go check it out. This one up next was really interesting when I read the actual app description. So it's called Bottled. This one is kind of like when you put a note in a bottle, you throw it out to see someone gets it. This is exactly what this app is. So you write your letter here and then you can go ahead and send it. Someone else in the world will receive it using this app. They can choose to accept it or they can send it on. And when they accept it, you can actually have a conversation with them. It's pretty interesting. You can meet people from all over the world and it's just quite nice to experiment with. And also you can read people's stories and see what they've sent out. It's pretty interesting. But this one is another really, really cool app. Not something you maybe use every day, but it's just quite cool to play around with. Now, if you're wondering where my wallpaper came from, 
California wallpapers is the app you're going to want to get. I got the pro version because there's like some deal on now, so it's completely free. Uh, but my one is the first one in the app so far. It tells you the location of where the photo is taken, time, how many likes, downloads. You can go ahead and you can save them, set it as your lock screen, your home screen wallpaper. Um, it's actually pretty cool. It also tells you the majority of the color in the photo and it gives you the color code as well. But they all look so stunning. I feel like they look really nice on the Google Pixel home screen. So something like my setup, like Nova Launcher, it looks really minimal, really nice, and I would recommend it. It's a really cool wallpaper app. You can change the quality of how it loads, the download, as well as setting it. Up next is Radiogram. This one was really interesting because you can't get the radio feature where you plug in your earphones anymore to your phone, not on these new flagships anyway. So this app sort of replaces that. Now it does use data, so you're gonna need like 3G, 4G, Wi-Fi, whatever, but it's actually pretty cool. It lists a lot of radio stations in different countries, and it's a really simple app to use. It's really good if you just want to go ahead and listen to like radio stations abroad or something like that. Even in your own country, you can plug this into your car and just play radio from like the US or you can play it from the UK or Brazil or you know wherever. You can just go ahead and do that. But it sounds really good. It's nice and minimal. You can add certain stations to your favorites and it's completely free. You don't even need to make an account or anything. So yeah, I would definitely recommend this if you want to go listen to some radio in some different countries or some different regions, whatever. It's definitely worth checking out. Now, next up is an app I've had a while, but really haven't shown it off. This one is called Trendy, and it's pretty interesting if you're like a tech fan. It is appealing for other people as well, but it's got a fun section, so it tells you some kind of fun stories and unique things. Then you have a tech section, which is probably one of my favorites. It has like all the new sort of tech stories. You can click on things and read them, and it will give you recommended like other stories and stuff, which is cool. You also have like a life section and success. Those ones I, I don't really read that much, but the tech and the fun section are really interesting, especially how you can click on things, you can share it, and you can just scroll down and read different stories. There's also wallpapers built in here as well, which is so random, but they look great, so I can't really complain. Really would check this app out. It's not a wallpaper app, but you know, you have some in here as well. I know there's a lot of wallpaper apps, but this one up next is Wallify. It's the last one on my list. This one is just really cool. It's quite different to the other one. It's got like loads of sort of fake images. They're not fake, but they're not as uh, organic as the California wallpapers. They're more like edited. You have quite a few cool looks with the colors, the designs. They look kind of animation-y and um, they look really, really nice anyway, nonetheless, whatever they are, but they have a really good variety. It's quite a simple interface. It's kind of like backdrops. I mean, most wallpaper apps seem to use like a similar interface, uh, but they're pretty cool. You have the same functionality as always. You can actually upload your own wallpapers in the app if you log in as well. So that's actually pretty cool. You get like a popular section, you can look via categories, and you can favorite, download, set your wallpapers, you can even comment on them and have a discussion with people about how great and damn cool your wallpaper is. But anyway guys, that's pretty much it, my top 10 apps. I hope you enjoyed my video, don't forget to comment and subscribe, thank you for watching. Peace out guys.